beat the Dodgers. They reverse that. Dodgers beat the Padres 5-3. Padres beat the Dodgers 5-3. Keith's nowhere to be found. Tell me you scared out, scared of me without telling me you scared of me, Key. <laughs> where is he? Somebody tell me where he is. I'm I'm here. I'm I'm with you guys. Yeah, boy, you try to I'm, duck I'm out just because right the you. just because the Dodgers lose, you try to duck out of the no, show. No, no, no. There's a couple of things that happen. First, I got in later than what I wanted to. Mm. Then I went out with Cap and Hood, and we just pulled up just now. So that I'm gonna blame them. <laughs> On top of blaming them, I had to stop by uh, late. I think I picked it up at about 4:45 to pick up James a cake for his birthday. Then. On top of that, I set my alarm clock for 5 a.m. instead of 5 a.m. Uh, uh, Central Time, uh, 4 a.m. Central Time. I messed around, and my clock was all screwed up, even though I told Shannon last night, yeah, 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 I got it, don't worry about it. And then on top of that, Shannon calls my room. You know, I'm. it's like, oh, man, you he panicking up the moon about me being late. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool, I'm, I'll be there in a minute. You know, just nice and easy. But, yeah. My alarm clock got me. I got in late. Um, I tried to watch what a little bit of left of the Dodgers I could. It was already five to three by the time I turned it on. It's I was too tracking much. it. Let me tell you something. As someone, you know? who used to, as someone who, when I was a kid, used to used to have to, you know, I had a strict mother, so I had to lie constantly about where I was. Right mm-hmm. after school, all kinds of stuff. What I learned over time is you don't come up with five different reasons. There was a track <laughs> fire, and then there was this, and then I got into a fight, and there's a, no. You one thing. He just gave us his damn. It's too list. many things. You gotta he give gave us a key. You gotta give things. one thing. Like I was picking up James, James birthday cake key. for his birthday. Happy that's birthday, why. James. By the way, boom. That's it. See what I'm saying? If you come up with five, it's yeah. like it's like I, took, none. I had to take a shower. Yeah. The water was too well, cold, words, too hot. That it, set me it, back 15 minutes. Key. Yeah. Well, in other that words, I'm nonsense. lying. <laughs> Clearly, I'm lying. <laughs> when you start giving every excuse in the book, you're lying. <laughs> you lying. Yeah. I overslept based on I overslept based on setting my alarm wrong. But the thing is, is I yeah. set it for five. Shannon called me at like five, basic or or called the room. I guess he decided after. And there was a no show for an hour as he was sitting in there. He said this, so, you know, it's probably you know a good you idea age, if you know, I call you, the rule. You put 15 years on Shannon just that. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, no question. Shannon's biological oh, no, age hey, is now 60. Hey. Yeah. Max, you have no idea. He, he was walking around. I'm like, man, just shit, we all right. We all right, man. We'll have <laughs> Listen, some fun with it. It's not what, that deep. We're good. Here's what Shannon you know, has then to I got, then you And then you know the suits, huh. right? Oh, the suits. You know the suits, they texting away. They trying to figure out, you know, do they what's up? Where where's this guy at? You know, I told her, I said, man, I went back to LA. I'm, I'm gone. I'm back at the crib, man. Don't call me. Call me tomorrow. Here's the thing that Shannon has to realize. He is a Dodgers fan. Shannon, Dodgers fans do not show up on time. They sh- they don't sh- they show up late. That's how it is. Especially especially You should have told, to told me that earlier. Especially had me over here panicking, running around. Well, yeah, that's that's true. We show up late to our sporting events and we leave early. But that's not the reason. The reason is I overslept. I'm a man. I can own it. Yeah. Three years, first time. Okay. Yeah. First time. I can guarantee you first time, last time. That won't happen again. Well, well, if he gets to oversleep, Harry. <laughs> that's what the coach is really worried about. It's like, wait a minute. Now everyone's going to. Hey, not everyone's going to oversleep. As they say, yeah. though, Max. Yeah. As they say. And Harry knows this. Yep, I know what he's about to say. If too. Keyshawn sleeps, I'm going to let him sleep. Everybody if Max else can't Kellerman sleep. Over, if, if, if Max Kellerman is sleeping in a meeting, I'm going to wake his ass up. Uh-oh. And I'm going to cut him. So <laughs> Max, here exactly. you go. <laughs> you, got, you got that twisted. <laughs> you got that hey, twisted. Harry, <laughs> hey, Harry. Check the stats. You've heard you got that, that one before, right? <laughs> oh, I'm that, telling you right now. In this business, Key, I'm running a 4-2. Listen, uh, are you worried about hair loss? That's the real question. Harry was bald before he did this. Look at him now. <laughs> right. Bosley, America's number one hair restoration experts, have you covered? Text WIN to 203203 and get all you need to know to keep and grow your hair. You've got questions, and we've got options. Take your pick. Pat, Pat Costello, what do we got? Gentlemen, we're playing take your pick with quarterback matchups this week. So I'll give you two quarterbacks who are playing each other. You tell me which one you like this week. Quarterback. Quarterbacks. Justin Fields or Carson Wentz? Take your pick. 
What do you like mm. this week? I'm going to I'm, I'm take Justin Fields, man. He's at home. I'm going to go to the game tonight in Chicago, hanging out with Chicago 1000 at ESPN. Um, I'm going to take Justin Fields. I think when you, when you look at it, however he's getting it done, He's getting it done. It's not like they got 10 wins, but it's not like they got 10 losses. They're winning ugly, but he's showing a little bit of things here and there as a guy who could potentially turn into, from from my eyes, turn into a bit of a Jalen Hurts. If he had those same weapons in that same situation, I think he could be a young Jalen Hurts. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna take Carson Wentz, and I love everything that you just said about Justin Fields because it's, uh, it's all true key. But I'm going to go with Carson Wentz because I think his skill position players are better. Uh, You look at the running back position, they have three or four guys that can receive the football out of the backfield. They still have Terry McLaurin. They have Curtis Samuel. Jahan Dawson won't be playing. Neither will Logan Thomas. But I like the skill position players more so for the commanders than I do for the Chicago Bears. Everyone familiar with the expression, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts, right? With Justin Fields, I get the feeling like the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. And with Carson Wentz, I get the feeling like the whole is less than the sum of its parts. I like the Bears with Justin Fields. I think he has a certain effect on a team where they're feeling good about themselves, even without talent, even when they are a little disorganized. And Carson Wentz, it seems to me, has the opposite effect. I like Fields. uh, Carson Wentz has the opposite effect to to the point that his head coach him under the bus. See, See that's I why mean, that's on. why I think he's gonna have a big night, though. You know, because of that situation. Yeah, Carson that Wentz has talent. It's not that he doesn't have talent. It's just certain moments, he 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 doesn't come up big in certain moments. Less than the sum of its parts. Yeah. Take your pick, Jalen Hurts or Dak Prescott, who is not expected to play, but it's more fun to ask about Dak Prescott than Cooper Rush. Let's be honest. Take your pick. I don't know if it is. In, in this particular game, I, I'm I'm going to take Jalen Hurts. In the game, I'm taking Jalen Hurts to have a great game, a good game, against whoever the Dallas quarterback is going to be. I think when you look at Jalen Hurts, he is on to something. His players play for him. You can tell he's out there having fun. He's not some stiff quarterback. When he scores a touchdown, he celebrates the right way. He does it by having fun and his teammates follow. And I think that that is majorly important, as Max just alluded to with Carson Wentz. When you have a leader like that, that is the way guys lead. And look, Jalen Hurts is a guy that we could be at the end of the day, Harry, holding up the MVP, holding up the Super Bowl trophy, and also getting ready to sign a major $300 plus million dollar deal. Yeah, I'm going to go with Jalen Hurts. I said before the season, Max, and a lot of people thought I was crazy. I said that Jalen Hurts would have a better season than Dak Prescott, not meaning he's the better quarterback, but I say he would have a better season because of what's surrounded by him and the growth that I thought that he would probably have. Um, I look at this offensive line, if everyone's intact, I look at the the emergence of A.J. Brown coming over from the Tennessee Titans. The defense is one of the top ones in the National Football League. So I'm going to go with Jalen Hurts in this matchup because I also know he didn't play good, good against them last year, the first time around. Had two early interceptions, had a pick six. So he also wants to show that he can do it against a premier top defense. I I like Jalen Hurts in this matchup. If I had my choice between quarterbacks, I'm taking Jalen Hurts. And I know Dak Prescott has a much deeper resume. And maybe I'll wind up wrong about Hurts if he regresses, right, if he doesn't keep this up. But he reminds me Hurts a lot. Again, as I said, Justin Fields, they're hoping it could be like Josh Allen. He reminds me Hurts of Josh Allen. He comes in with certain tools. He's not doing certain things in the beginning. But he gets some reps under his belt. He starts to do them. His team rallies behind him. They put him in a good spot. They get him an offensive line. They get him weapons. And you see what he can do. Step by step by step, give me Jalen Hurts. Take your pick. Patrick Mahomes or Josh Allen? Keyshawn, what do you think? Patrick Mahomes Choose wisely. Josh Allen. I'm going to I'm going to go with – I'm going to – it's going to be a shootout. It's going to be a great game. I don't want to be on the fence. I'm going to take Josh Allen at home, and I'm going to take Josh Allen to be the guy that finally, at the one and three, including the playoffs lifetime against Patrick Mahomes, he gets another W at home. He lights up the scoreboard against the defense because, oh, the Chiefs are at home, my bad. He goes on the road in Kansas City and beats the Chiefs at NKC, but they both play extremely well. It mirrors what we saw in the playoffs last year. 
because Steve Spagnuolo, in my opinion, can't get out of his own way and putting his defensive backs in harm's way with all of the blitzing and the man-to-man coverage. I think he still tries that against D- Davis and Diggs, and it comes back to bite him. A shootout of a game. The edge goes to Josh Allen. Yeah, I'm going to take Josh Allen. Some of the same reasons Key mentioned. And the most important one is Steve Spagnola not understanding that you can't just leave your corners on islands against Pyramid guys, we know what Gabe Davis, we know what Stephon Diggs can be outside of the wide receiver position. You cannot continuously and over and over again play man coverage against these guys and give Josh Allen that free access to just, you know, throw goal routes, hit slants, throw stop routes, and let those guys go up and down the football field, hit post for touchdown. We've seen the 98-yard touchdown. We've seen a 62-yard touchdown to Gabe Davis. So I'm going to go with Josh Allen, not only because he can do it with his arm, but because he can do it with his legs too, Max. The question is football for me. The answer is Patrick Mahomes. I knew it was coming. Patrick Mahomes <laughs> is better than Josh Allen. And Josh Allen's great. Patrick Mahomes is better. I mean, he can do things that ha- that are extra dimensional that you go, oh, my God. And as we were saying, some guys have a certain effect on the team. Josh Allen certainly has this effect on his team. They play well together. They play for each other, all that stuff. But Mahomes, I, don't, I mean, like, it must be so much fun to play on a Mahomes team. And it looks that way on offense like the Bills could possibly win the game because they have a better team top to bottom. Yep. But why do I just feel but like see, Patrick is, Mahomes will pull a rabbit out of his hat, you know? But see, this is when I push back on you, Max, and when you say it's not even close and he's just better and all those sort of things. This is when I push back on you for that. Patrick Mahomes have always had a phenomenal head coach, a phenomenal offensive coordinator, and Eric Bieniemy, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, and company. They had to bring in some help for Josh Allen. Josh Allen was out there messing around early in his career with pedestrian wide receivers. They go out and get Stephon Diggs. On top of that, one of the things is that Josh Allen has about three things that he needs to do to get on Patrick Mahomes' level. One is obviously winning the Super Bowl. The other is winning an MVP. The other is flat out beating the Kansas City's in, in Patrick 100%. Mahomes, the Kansas City Chiefs, in Patrick Mahomes. If he can do those sort of then things. Then he's maybe number one. I mean, like, maybe. But he hasn't done that yet, Key. that shape. But he you hasn't. Know, it starts I, I, to take shape. Yes, you're right, of course. But he hasn't done it. You know who has done that? Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, the first time he started a full season, 50 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, one pre-snap penalty away from getting to the Super Bowl, which I thought he would, they were, they would have beaten the Rams, all, And that's right? all fine and So Josh know, Max, Allen, the first no question about it. But the first time Josh no Allen started, it, 10 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. I mean, like, think yeah, about where they, they started. But you, but you, you got to think of Tyreek Hill wasn't 